Well, I didn't take my chicken out last night. So what I'm doing here is using my Instapot to cook my chicken because you can cook frozen chicken in the Instapot. I'm just going to season it with a little bit of this. Because today is Taco Tuesday. A little sea salt. And a little pepper. And a cup of chicken broth. Bless you, Duke. Get the pressure cook. And you're going to go for 10, minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. We'll do 12. I just let it naturally release for like 18 minutes. And just like that, frozen chicken is fully cooked and ready, ready to be put into my Mexican dish. What I'm going to do now is cancel this. Turn on saute. Put in my taco seasoning. It's a lot of chicken, but I'm only putting one pack because I already had seasoned some. And I already had water. This is how my chicken taco meat is looking. I'm going to transfer it to the bowl so I can do my rice and beans in the Instapot. And here I'm going to wrap it with cheese in these wraps. This is a multi-grain wrap. It is gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan-friendly. And this one is the sweet potato wraps, which is gluten-free and dairy-free also. And these are the cheeses I'm using, which are all dairy-free. This is a vegan cheese. Um, this is a uh, smoked Gouda. And this is just regular cheddar style cheese. Didn't know which one I wanted to use inside of the uh, wrap split. That's what I'm doing. So I turned the Instant Pot back on after I washed it. I'll saute. And now that it's hot, I can add my oil. And I don't use vegetable oil. The only thing we use is avocado oil and sometimes we use extra virgin olive oil but for this I'm doing the um, avocado oil I'm supposed to use just one tablespoon but I just pretty much eyeball it I'm gonna add my garlic two four cloves of garlic I hope you buy cloves. I buy mint garlic. I ain't got time to be cutting up garlic and onions. I just added a half a cup of salsa to the mixture. Next, I'm going to put my cumin, my salt, and I put a little of the Chijin seasoning in. What's going on right now? On this counter. Now 
I'm just adding everything else. This is my two cups of water. Two cups of brown rice. Iced tomatoes. And my rinse and drain can of black for my rice and beans mixture so this is how it's looking this is how it's looking so this is how my rice and beans is looking before I'm ready to put it on pressure cook. So we're pressure cooking it for 20 minutes. Rice and beans. Tomatoes. So here we're going to cancel the saute. Add my pressure cooker to the top. Make sure it's on seal. Turn it around. There we go. And we're ready to pressure cook. And we're going to put it on 20 minutes. Voila. Now we have to do is wait. So, my chicken brats are coming along. I'm still on the multi-grain. I have like three more of those and then I'll start on the sweet potato. We've had them for a while and I just want to do something with them. So this was the idea that I came up with and I'm going to make my own sauce to put over them. I'll tell you about that later. So this is how I'm doing the rats. I'm just Two slices of cheese. Hey, Is it Father's Day? Line them up on the end. You'll see why. I'm going to take the chicken. Rolling it as tightly as I can. And then add down the pan. I have to roll them very tight and put them very close together so that they won't pop back out. This one like the shrimp pop back out. Hurry up and get this one in.
Um, put it in the oven for like 20 minutes at 350, and then you take it. Just like your all. Okay, The crackling you hear in the background is this, the uh, Insta crack. I'm just going to Sauce it. I'm gonna sauce the top. Oh, I know this is gonna be so good. The sweet potato with the blue cheese. Oh my god. Smoked blue cheese. The sweet potato, hopefully, they're a little bit easier to roll because. Other ones were not. Yeah, the sweet potato is a little bit more softer. I'm going to fill a couple of our beef and we're going to grill probably half of what was in here and then I will put the other half in a zip bag and then you can make the dinner. Yeah. Maybe not like the skippy or the potato. I don't have any more blue cheese left. So, we put it in cheddar. Start putting mozzarella cheese. Oh, and I'm watching YouTube on the TV. Okay. So this is what I decided to do for my sauce to go on top of my chicken wrap. Kind of make it like um, enchiladas. I don't have any enchilada sauce, and I don't like going to the store and get stuff when I can just wing it. Tomato paste. Put a little bit of that in it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt in it. And we'll just um, kind of eyeball it. Taste it. If I feel like it needs something else, I'll add whatever I think it needs. Use some salt. I'm going to add some more pepper. You know what? The salt, pepper, and garlic. Then. So, 
And what I do is pour it on. This is just something I came up with. I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm waiting for the oven to 350. This is how it is looking. And my rice and beans are steaming away. And this is my rice and beans. And these are my enchiladas. The cheese is melty on the inside. 